Alrighty, what is going on guys? Matsi here and welcome to the brand new series. I've been waiting for this series for a really long time and I've really been depending on the Forge people to get this out and they finally got Forge 1.7.2 out so we can finally start our new Let's Make a Mod series. Um, so this is basically going to be the same tutorial as before. Uh, I'm going to show you a quicker way to set it up this time for uh, if you're new but if you're older this is a quicker way to set it up you don't need MCP anymore to download it manually Forge just has MCP built into it which is pretty cool now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to have to download all of this stuff right here so I'm just gonna go ahead pull up the three places that we need to go so the first place you're going to need to go is to this link. This link will be in the description down below, uh, just in case you guys need it. Um, if you if you need to download uh, Java SDK, uh, just make sure you download the correct version. Uh, if you have Windows 32-bit, to get the times 64. If you have 64, get times 86. And then uh, the Eclipse. Uh, I got IDE for EE developers, um, but you can get standard. It's all personal preference. Basically, uh, just for this, I'm going to be using the IDE for Java EE developers. And then you're going to need to go to files.minecraftforge.net. Uh, you're going to get the latest source right here. And there you go. That simple. Now, you're going to go ahead and uh, let me just minimize these. You're going to want to install this. I already have it installed. So I'm just going to hit no, but go through all that and install it. Because th that's the most important thing. You can't screw that up. Now, you're, now after that's installed, you're going to go ahead and shift, right click. Oh, whoops. I'm already clicked on that. Shift, right click. Open a command window here. You're going to type in Java C. Now, this stuff is all going to come up. Not all of it. Not, not, this is all not going to come out. So this is there's it should read an error message I just don't want to go digging around in my paths again because I don't want to screw anything up so that's why I'm not going to show you guys uh, like from the beginning like what it looks like but um all this stuff should be good or it should be um my bad it should it should not show up it should read an error message now what you're gonna have to do then is you're going to go ahead and go up to the right hand side if you're on Windows 8 or just open up your control panel however you can do so then you're going to want to go to system and security system advanced system settings environment variables and then you're going to go down here to path make sure it's not path text just path and you're going to edit go all the way over semicolon now we're gonna have to get our um, wherever our SDK is located so you're gonna to do this you're gonna go ahead and go to OS that means operating system program files times or wait is it pro, program oh it's program files just normal program files JDK and then your version you're gonna click on that go to bin and you're gonna get this copy come over here paste now since and then you're gonna hit OK but since I already have mine in I'm just gonna hit cancel then you click OK and OK you can X out of that and X out of that so now that you have your path set up if you were to type in Java again all of this stuff should uh, should link up like so now the next thing you're going to want to do is extract your Eclipse right here. To do this, you can just, you don't even need 7-zip, uh, but if you have 7-zip, just go to Extract Files here or Extract here, or you can just do Extract All, the basic function. But I already have that, and this is right here, and I'll show you how to use that in a second. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract your Forge. To do that, I just use the Extract All, and then just Extract, and uh, there we go. We're all extracted. It's actually on my other desktop here so let me just drag this over here on that side okay get rid of that and that now the next thing you're gonna want to do is open up a new folder I just named mine mod series then what you're what, what you're gonna want to do is rename this to 
Eclipse. <coughs> you're just going to drag that into there. There you go. And then you're just going to rename this into whatever mod you're going to do. So I'm just going to do Tutorial Series. There you go. And just drag that into there. Now this is where it's going to be getting tricky, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause right here, go get some water, and review this stuff one more time so that way I don't mess it up, because this part is huge. This is exactly how you, how you uh, set up your forge. It's going to be tricky, so make sure you pay attention. Alright, <clears throat> now that I've had time to renew and I've gotten some water here, I've uh, figured out what to do. So you're going to shift, right click, open a command window here. As you should see, your thing should uh, pop up here. And you're going to type in Gradle. Uh, oh, God. Let me puff this up a little bit here. Okay, Gradle W. Gradle W. Set. Set up dev workspace work yeah workspace and then eclipse since we're using eclipse <clears throat> if you're using a different IE thing or a, a different editor which I don't recommend considering with this tutorial you're going to be using eclipse then see if uh, the gradle supports it just like Lex Mono says in his video. If you are having issues with uh, my setup of Forge, I will link um, Lex Manos, the Forge lead developer's video on how to set everything up, just in case I missed something. Oh man, excuse me. He also explains other things like releasing and updating, but we will eventually get to those two in this. So if I type that in right, it should... Um... Looks like I did not. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. It's uh gonna go ahead and do some crazy things and yeah and stuff. And there you go. It's gonna download a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it until it's done. As you can see, it has a. Oh wait. Well, maybe it won't take that long. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit right here and wait. And if it takes long, I'll just like speed right through it. It shouldn't take terribly long. Actually, while this is doing this, we can go ahead set up Eclipse. So to get into Eclipse, you just go to Eclipse, Eclipse, and then uh, uh, what I like to do is I just like to click on it and then uh, and then create a shortcut and then just move that out here so that way I don't have to uh, go all the way deep into the folder every time and then just Ah, oh, crap, I didn't mean, I mean to do that. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead, create shortcut, and then just move it out. And then move it out once again. So it's just out in this folder. And then we're going to go ahead and rename it to Eclipse. There we go. I think I spelled that right. Eclipse, yes. All right, we're good. Now let's go ahead and check this building 55% so yeah should not take too much longer as you can see it's just downloading all of the files that we're going to need for Eclipse and um, in Minecraft Forge so I really like how they changed this considering that um, you can do a lot more things with your mods now and uh, so yeah you can you can do a lot more so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I was about to say pause it but as soon as I talk about pausing it it just literally just continues building so uh, I'm going to take a sip of water really quick <sighs> refreshing so yeah we're basically done as soon as it's done and then I'll go ahead and open up Eclipse and we will create our first package which will include our first class later on or in the next episode so this is done it'll say build successful time two minutes 31 seconds or whatever how long it took for you you can just exit out of there now 
we are going to go and uh, link up our Eclipse. Alright, so in order to link this to Eclipse, we're going to go ahead and first open up Eclipse. It's going to open up on the other thing here, so just give it a second. Um, you guys can't see it, but the, the big Eclipse logo is on the other monitor right now, and it's kind of blocking everything. But whatever, man, it don't matter. It don't matter. So while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and go to the t tutorial series folder and we're going to go into the Eclipse and then we're just going to control C this path right here and once Eclipse opens I will drag this over because everything seems to be wanting to go slower since I'm recording because you know that's how technology works alright so the workspace is up so I'm going to go ahead and paste that into there I'm going to click OK it's loading my workbench loading everything which should not take more than 20 seconds or so. And then we're going to create our new package, which is then going to hold all of our mods uh, things. Alright, so there is our Eclipse. If we were to open this up right here, we would, we would see all of our stuff. So yeah, inside of this source main comes with an example mod but we're just, uh, just going to delete this, but this is just a quick example of what uh, everything is going to look like. So yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. But we're just going to go ahead and create our own package. So we're going to go ahead and go to New, Package, and we're going to name it Mozzie dot tutorial mod dot Mozzie dot tutorial mod dot I don't know something. Give me a, give me a second to see what we're, just do main main. There you go. Now we're going to create our first class in here. We're just going to rename this. We're just going to name it main, and there we go. And that's all we're going to do today. We got our main class file in here, which is going to be the main uh, class to just branch out everything else for our series. But that's all I got for the setup today, guys. Tomorrow or the next day, these videos are going to be coming out a little more frequently. I'm only going to do a basic tutorial at first then we'll get into more advanced and advanced stuff but for now we're just gonna stick to the basics for about the first uh, nine eight or nine episodes and after that we're gonna do some more advanced things or even make our own series on coding our own mod that you guys will have a part in but I have already had the idea for it so anyways guys that's all I got for you today if you want to continue seeing this series make sure you hit that subscribe and that like button Follow me on Twitter, it's in the description down below. I don't really tweet other than my videos, but if you want to know when my videos are up and you don't feel like checking YouTube, that'll work. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace.